What's up guys? Welcome to Deer Camp. Josh is back there. We're getting ready to go out, try to get him a buck. Say hi, Josh. What's up guys? We got a sweet video for you guys today. We got a bunch of footage from Ted Miller and Benjamin and I had an awesome hunt in Iowa. This video is gonna be brought to you by our friends over at Bow Hunters United. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know we do a lot of tips for them that they use on their website that are designed for new bow hunters. If you wanna learn more and you're just getting into bow hunting, Bow Hunters United is a great place to go to just learn the basics before you go to the field. And one of the tips we recently did for them was one on how to create a realistic calling scenario in the woods. Basically how to call deer in by trying to sound like an actual deer. And in the footage from Ted Miller today, he films this crazy buck fight like 30 yards from his tree. Pay really close attention to all the vocalizations that these bucks are making. Pay attention to how that fight sounds, how many branches are breaking, how aggressive they're getting, and they're grinding those antlers together. And then they even snort wheeze a couple times after the fact. So just look at that scenario and then try to recreate that in your mind whenever you're trying to call deer in in the woods. Then from Ted's hunt, we're gonna go to a hunt that Benjamin and I had in Iowa last week where we called in a big buck, and you'll just have to see how that turns out. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Well, how awesome was that? Two big bucks went at it pretty hard there. <laughs> that uh, 
I slipped in here and set up on a horizontal rub that I had set up earlier. And take a look at it here. I, I noticed the rub had been torn to the ground. So we got a couple of trail cameras running on it. We'll see if we got any footage of them doing that. But uh, it was awesome. It kind of took place behind my tree there. So I just videoed, didn't try to get a shot, but a couple of really awesome bucks there. That's why you want to be in the tree in November, right there. Awesome. Well, uh, here it is a couple hours later. We really didn't see much else outside the buck bite, I guess. Uh, we got down here. We'll check out this, uh, horizontal rub uh, it looks uh, like it needs a little repair but uh, I'll show you here uh, scrape portion has definitely been worked definitely the rub has been tore up I think that uh, stump here it's pretty heavy duty post there that I had it wired wired to I think it they just broke it off you can also see that this year on some of these rubs I've added a, like a three inch uh, cedar fence post and then I've just nailed a scotch pine limb to it uh, just to make it a little stouter so they wouldn't uh, kind of run out of a source of uh, scotch pine limbs of about the right size. So I had to go with smaller limbs and I thought that would just uh, make the limbs stouter and not break it. But I guess they <laughs> tore it down otherwise and uh, looks like I'm going to have to do a little repair to it, I guess. But uh, I'm definitely a couple of mature bucks that got into a fight, so I'm I'm guessing one of them tore it down probably check that trail camera and just see what's on there but uh, should be some good footage on the trail camera there so but anyway got half a dozen or so of these rubs set up around and that's what i'm going to be hunting the next uh, few days so hopefully we can get some more footage i i probably you know don't don't harp on me too much for <laughs> not shooting either one of them bucks. I mean, everybody's situation is different. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just uh, got some good bucks in the area and I enjoy the filming part of it just as much as the shooting part. So uh, just uh, hunt for yourself and not somebody else. So anyway, we'll, uh, check out this trail camera footage and uh, see you on the next one. Um, me and Benjamin are headed in. Got kind of a late start today. As y'all can probably tell, it's really windy. That's why we got the ghillies on, because we're probably gonna be doing lots of moving around tonight. It's supposed to, the wind is supposed to stay up all the way till dark. I really like moving around in these conditions. We're back here on this Oak Ridge where I found some sign early in the season. Found some big rubs and stuff up here and I haven't been back since. So we're gonna get back in here real deep like and see if we can run into a buck. Is that a buck turd or is that like a, a turd? Like a human turd? Is that a human turd? That's some big turds. I don't think that's a buck turd. Are you sure? There's other buck turds around him. First deer poop, I didn't see that. 
That's a, that's a deer. Fresh rub right back there. Bunch of feeding sign. We crept in here a little bit deeper and started getting into some pretty heavy feeding sign. Deer in here browsing on these locust pods. Hedge leaves that are falling. We're gonna try to get set up in a little ditch here. See if we can make it work.
spot right there. I called to them and they definitely came in, but they came in downwind. Got up there at about 25 yards. Me and Benjamin sunk down here in the ditch. We're trying to keep our scent down here. It just that about worked. all the way over. It almost worked. If he would have if he would have walked a few more steps there, I would have been able to draw and stand and shoot him. That was the one spot I can't believe they did that. They went all the way up there and they came all the way back down and around. It's like they they had to go check them does, and then they were coming over here to investigate. I was afraid to grunt to him right where he was because I figured that's what he would do. I was just like, man, maybe this ditch will keep our scent down in here. You want me to turn them definitely? Oh yeah. Let's get up. There's probably more deer moving around. We still got a good 45 minutes of daylight left. We're gonna try to move up this creek where those does and those two bucks crossed, just in case another buck juts out of that bedding area. I'm assuming they'll go down that same trail, so we're gonna try to move fast and quiet here. Pretty good evening altogether. Another good thing tonight, obscure food sources on public land. Tonight, hedge leaves, locust pods, that's where the fresh sign was at. And I mean the fresh feeding sign, like where deer been scraping the ground, there's a bunch of droppings and stuff in there. And that's where me and Benjamin sat and we saw all these deer. Only saw one rub and no scrapes. We saw two, two bucks and five does. Two bucks and five does. And we can't see very dang far in here as y'all can tell. So, got so close. Maybe tomorrow.